So much of what people know about New Orleans is about great music. Which is great. And great food. Which is great. That's right. One local <laughs> restaurant, <laughs> Cafe Reconcile, gets incredible reviews for its dishes like fried catfish with crawfish sauce. Also found, sounds rather Nolens, if you will. All great stuff, as we said, but that's not entirely why we went there. The cafe also runs a jobs and life skills program that is helping hundreds of kids find a brighter future. And Michelle Miller has that story. <laughs> Just blocks from New Orleans' bustling French Quarter is an area of town rarely seen by tourists and a corner restaurant that should be a required stop on every visitor's itinerary. Right table eight. Cafe Reconcile cooks up some of the Crescent City's best Cajun and Creole cuisine. You'll have to put the roux in it. But its charm has nothing to do with gumbo or collard greens. My name is Charnay Smith. I have been with Cafe Reconcile for a month and a half. I learned a lot over there. The draw of the cafe is its purpose, to help turn around the lives of young people like Charnay. Before, I was just running the streets, you know, doing what a young child usually do. Let us chef special with us, some chicken. The restaurant offers a comprehensive life skills training program. You get paid by either selling your skill, selling a product, or doing a service. For 12 weeks, kids with nowhere else to turn come here for intensive skill classes. I need that chicken broken up in smaller pieces. They work rotating shifts in the fully functioning cafe and claim internships at top real world restaurants and hotels. $20,000, $25,000. Mr. Hiram teaches us how to present ourselves in a correct way. And you, ma'am? Like, smiling, talking to a person in a professional way. Can I start you guys off with a drink? But the program teaches so much more than tangible skills to land a job. It offers something these kids have rarely had, safety, respect, and most importantly, trust. Because some of them have been hurt so many times, and they are distrustful, distrustful for family members, distrustful for the city that let them down. Most of the students at Cafe Reconcile were young kids when Katrina tore apart their city and their lives. Many who had little were left with nothing. They're tired from being out there in the streets. They want to come in. They're looking for a refuge. They're looking for someone who can protect them, someone who can um, help them. Thanks for coming in. Sister Mary Lou Specia is the cafe's take no prisoners, lovable mother hen. All right, keep it up. We've had over 700 since we began in early 2000. It's just been a, an amazing uh, feat of serving young people and really looking at their needs and giving them an opportunity. And it's working. The current students have graduates like Raynard Janot to look up to. I'm Raynard Janot, and I've been away from Reconcile about a year and two months. Raynard makes $10 an hour working in the laundry services department here at the Lowe's Hotel. The Lowe's currently employs 14 Cafe Reconcile graduates, and its general manager couldn't be more proud. By the time they get here, they're invested well into it, and that's why they are successful here. For Raynard, this is just a stop on the way to his goal of opening his own barber shop. Ooh, it's kind of tight. And Charnay, she plans to attend college to study music. You made it past the first day you were on your Once <laughs> wistful dreams becoming firm realities. Thank you. All thanks in part to a little restaurant with a big heart. Michelle Miller, CBS News, New Orleans.